What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 5. We're going to look at some callbacks to previous episodes, general discussion, and comic connections. Spoiler warning if you don't know the episode and don't want to know about the Season 7, Episode 5, the comic connection, the comics, and just general spoiler warning about the show. Here we go. When Maggie wakes up, She's the first person we see in the episode. And these won't be all encompassing the episode. We'll probably miss a couple of them. If you find anything that we missed, let us know. But Maggie looks at the flowers. And when I hear, look at the flowers, I think of Carol with Lizzie. But that's not what the reference is to. It's actually to Rick in season one, episode one, when he looks at the flowers that are all dead that Shane and the police department gave to him. And it all starts with Rick at the hospital, waking up from the coma, looking at the flowers, and that's where the story of The Walking Dead post-apocalyptic storyline starts with Rick looking at the flowers, the whole Maggie looking at the flowers is probably symbolic of her going forward at the hilltop. It all starts for her there. Maggie and Glenn. Maggie, the last time she was on that table, was with Glenn looking at the baby. Now she hears the baby's heartbeat. Just a nice little connection with the last time she was on the table. No Glenn this time, but the baby is okay. The pocket watch. Steven Young's pocket watch, Glenn's pocket watch, Herschel's pocket watch, a bunch of different people. I think seven people have had possession of the pocket watch over the seasons. Now Enid has it, Gregory had it in the same episode, and Maggie had it. So three people in the one episode had it. It's a nice little callback to Herschel and Glenn and the previous people to have had it. It's a nice connection with Maggie because it was in her family and Maggie giving it to Enid shows that she's trustworthy to have it and that Enid is part of her family. Sasha with the cigar, Abraham with the cigar. She said it in there that Abraham had a cigar in his uh, pocket and that was Abe's cigar. So that's a call back to Abe's cigar. Bicycle girl, we got a new bicycle girl, and why don't they use more bikes on the show? We just see the motorcycle, but no one uses regular pedal bikes on here too. Rick was the last one that we saw actually using a bike. Now Enid, bicycle girl with bicycle girl in the park, when Rick takes her out. So Rick was the last one. So there's only been two people that I'm aware of that Rick and Enid were on bikes. If there's somebody else that we're missing, let us know. But Enid, new bicycle, new bicycle girl on there. You know, she'll probably be around for a long time, so she won't be the Walker bicycle girl. So it was kind of a nice little callback to a bike finally being seen on the show. Gregory gonna give up Sasha and Maggie to the saviors, but Jesus thwarts that <laughs> problem, and it's pretty awesome to see that. But Gregory being the guy that he is, and it's gonna be that he's gonna be out of power at some point. Jesus steps up and if you look at Maggie there that's a classic shot of Maggie like the comic Maggie with the shirt and the short hair and the jeans it just looks like her Gregory is not fit to run the hilltop when shit hit the fan he opened the drapes and closed them and did nothing meanwhile Maggie led the show led it did everything she had to do led the uh, recovery of the hilltop what she had to do and she was not even she shouldn't even be doing anything she should be on bed rest but she's still doing stuff the punch the comic connection is it happened pretty close to it there. It's not the same exact, you know, thing on the comic, but the punch, very iconic thing from there. There, the wording, the verbiage there, it's pretty spot on. I just liked the connection there too, and I can't wait for Maggie to take control of the hilltop and take over control and be a leader. I, I really want big things for Maggie Ree and on the show. There she is holding the pocket watch, Sasha looking on. And it's kind of cool that Sasha's there at the hilltop. She's kind of taking place of some of the hilltop characters from the comic. But it's just a nice little connection there. Carl and Jesus in the back of the van. Carl was only one by himself in the comic. Jesus is an addition to that. But they're probably going to connect that with Jesus being on reconnaissance of the sanctuary. And Carl trying to take out Negan as an assassin. But... I don't see him having a gun though, because he didn't have a gun getting in there. Maybe he picks one up, maybe there's one in the truck, maybe he grabs one, so I don't know how they're going to do that on there, but it's a nice thing that it's leading up to that. Straight out the comics, even though there's mattresses that he's hiding there, Jesus is included in the van that he's not, or the truck, that he's not in there in the comic, but it's a nice little twist that he's in there, and Carl go out to take to the saviors, whatever they're going to do. Can't wait to see it being done. 
probably in episode seven we'll finally get to see that even though i would like to see carl take out some saviors but i don't know how good he can shoot because of the whole aiming thing and that's what i believe this was all showing us that he aims everything he thinks he's aiming straight and he's off to the left so he might be a little tough shot he might not be able to take out anyone unless they're running to his left so we'll see maggie sasha the graves here's a grave shot of enid and maggie but in the comics it's pretty spot on with sophia and maggie and that's who enid is enid is the show version of sophia as sophia died in season two as we know but that's pretty much spot on by the grave with maggie and sophia and sophia uh the show is enid is replacing her on the show and what do you think of enid and carl do you think that's a good connection she's not replacing lydia on the show she's replacing sophia on the comics so We'll see how it plays out. The green balloons, the pocket watch, just the connection here, all the connections there with it and the callbacks. The green balloons, of course, were with Glenn and Enid when she he released them to give them a sign that he is still alive. And it's just probably sentimental connection with Enid and Glenn. The brake light necklace, talked about it before, but the only thing I don't know about it is the Sasha connection with it because it was Rosita that gave it to Abraham not Sasha. So does Sasha know that? Does Sasha know the necklace? Remember the necklace? Cause she, I don't think she didn't, she didn't go to the hilltop initially on the first step. So that was left there when he got choked when uh, Ethan stabbed Gregory. So we'll see how that plays out. I just love this picture of Maggie in the tire wheel. Look at that thing. She just sits right in there. So there you go, guys. That's the callbacks, the discussion, the comic connections. If we missed anything, let us know. Uh, just post them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching guys.